More Jewish Americans say they're changing their behaviors out of concern for their safety. That's according to a survey out today from the annual American Jewish Committee. WRL's Ali Ingersoll shows us their concerns. The survey takes a snapshot of American Jewish adults' perspective on anti-Semitism. The survey found 46% of those who answered altered their behavior in 2023, up from 38% the year before. That could mean anything from avoiding wearing Jewish symbols in public, going to certain places, or posting content online. The biggest change was that people say they're avoiding places or situations due to safety concerns. In 2022, 16% of Jewish Americans say they avoided events or locations, jumping 10 percentage points by the end of 2023 to 26%. People who have been targeted already by anti-Semitism are far more likely to change their behaviors, the survey reveals. If someone has been a target of a remark or attack, the likelihood they're going to avoid going to a place jumps to 45%. Most Jewish American adults are experiencing anti-Semitism online, and a sizable share say these incidents make them feel physically threatened. We know anti-Semitism is a symptom of something, you know, much worse in our society. Uh, you know, something that might start with, with Jewish people. It's not going to end with, with Jews. We know this throughout history, actually, unfortunately. Holly Huffnagel says there isn't one clear answer as to why there's a rise in anti-Semitism. Historically, she says that these sort of incidents increase during election years, economic downturns and conflict. All of these things together, amplified online, is really what we're seeing in this moment, and we've captured the impact on the Jewish community. Also noteworthy, more than nine out of every 10 people surveyed say they feel it's important for other religious and ethnic communities to work with the Jewish community to combat anti-Semitism and hate. For WRL News, I'm Ali Ingersoll. You know, the survey first launched before the attacks in Israel and then it had a brief pause after October 7th before restarting again.